What's up guys? So I promised you I would go through a day of eating video and how I measure out and track my calories for the day. Starting off with meal one now. So my first meal of the day is usually a shake. Nine times out of 10, I do a shake every morning for the past like three or four years. It includes usually some source of protein. And since fortunately, I had my buddy Trick buy me this tub of protein. I've been using a protein powder as my source of protein, but usually I'll use egg whites. I usually add a handful of spinach, a half a cup to maybe 30 grams of oatmeal, and one serving or one cup of this Berry, Metal Berry Melody frozen fruit mix. Throw it in the blender, add some water, and voila! So I'm sure you're gonna ask me, oh, how do I know to put 30 grams, or what is 30 grams of oatmeal? What does that look like? I'll show you right now. So you're gonna need to start off with a scale. I think I picked this one up from Walmart a few years back. Really cheap, it was like 10 bucks. All you do is set it down and turn it on, and it's set on ounces right now. We wanna, we wanna measure in grams, at least for this meal. So on the back side, there's a button. I'm gonna flip it to grams and it's at zero. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is to grab some type of bowl or cup to use to weigh your stuff in. And obviously I put that on there and now it says it weighs 123. We wanna zero that out so the scale doesn't even know it's there. For the first ingredient, which is going to be the oatmeal that I'm gonna put in, the only way you can figure out how much exactly you're putting into your food and how many calories exactly you're putting in there is by looking at the nutritional panel on the back of the foods. And if it doesn't have a nutritional panel, go to MyFitnessPal and hand type in what you're about to put into your, your smoothie or your food in general. And it should give you a roundabout answer of how much of what is going to give you the calories that you need. So for this, I went 30 grams, less than a half a cup. So a half a cup is 40 grams. I want 30 grams of oatmeal. I'm going to show you how that's done. Pop the top. And we're going to dump some oatmeal in there until it hits 30. So we can get right on the money. Ooh, we're over a little bit. Look, make it nice and perfect. We're going to take a little bit out at a time to hit our 30 mark. Boom, voila. 30 down the hatch. And as you start to add these ingredients in, to whether it be your smoothie or your meal, go onto your MyFitnessPal app and make sure you're checking them off the list so you don't forget to add them. Because I've done that before. You start adding a bunch of different ingredients into a meal or a shake, and you forget to add one to your MyFitnessPal, and it isn't tracked, and next thing you know, you're going over your calories without you even knowing it. Next up, Berry Melody. For this, I want one cup, one serving. One serving is going to be one literal cup, 140 grams. Now, one cup in here is not going to get you 140. You must weigh your food on a scale because the measuring cup is not always gonna be accurate, even with liquids, it's not. So I'm gonna weigh this out now and I can't do this with two hands, so I'm gonna do it and I'll pick back up once I'm done. All right, so there's 140 on the dot. And as you can see, that's well over one cup. If I was to put my hand down or like level. So you can't always trust a measuring cup, especially to weigh big bulky foods like that. 140 grams, one serving down the hatch. Next up is going to be baby spinach. I'm going to put a handful, quote unquote, into this shaker. Um, and on my fitness pal, you can literally type in a handful of spinach and it'll give you an estimate of how much or how many calories that is. And since spinach, leafy greens like this, and uh, other micronutrients and macros are so low in calorie that I don't really measure these to the T compared to like fruit, carbohydrates, or fats, um, or protein, just because vegetables usually are very, very low in calories. So I try and just eyeball them because it's a, it's a mess to try and weigh this out. But if you're trying to be to the T and really serious about it, weigh it out 
All the nutritional labels are on the back, just like everything else. You can type it in My Fitness Pal and it'll show you. But I'm putting a handful of spinach in mine. Boom. And almost on to the final ingredient. I uh, have this Core Nutritionals Pro Protein. It's like a pro blend, protein blend. So it's like two or three different proteins in this blend. It tastes pretty good. And it's, uh, I guess, a good bang for your buck because it's so, so, uh, so many scoops and servings in here. So this is one scoop. I'm gonna throw it in there. And fortunately, my fitness pal has this particular brand of protein on the app. So I put in one serving, which was one scoop, and it's tracked, ready to go. No need to weigh it out. Now to add the final ingredient, agua. Now this is pretty much a consistent meal for me, especially for meal one throughout my leaning phase and when I'm just bulking or maintaining. I love having a shake to start my day off. It's very easy, very easy to get down and quick. You blend it up, smoke it, you're ready to roll for the day. Now some of y'all might mention, oh, I didn't add any fats to this particular meal. And for me personally, I don't like to eat my fats towards the beginning or middle of my day. I like to save my fats up for the end of the day and I'll break down calories and, and macros in, a, in another video, but long story short, fats contain or yield more calories than protein and carbohydrates. So there's four calories per gram of carbohydrate or protein, but there's nine calories per gram of fat. So if you're trying to keep your calories low throughout the, the day and save your calories for the end of the day, the bulk of them, when you're the most hungry, you're at home, you're sitting around, you might not be doing much, you might be watching TV, you get that hungry feeling, you can increase your calories, eat more satiating food like fats and whatnot at the end of the day. So, here we go. Voila, ain't as bad as it looks. All right, we're going on to meal number two. This is gonna be a whole food meal, which the shake was whole food as well, except the protein powder. But for this one, we're doing chicken, white rice and some vegetables. For the chicken, I already had it cooked from this past week, left over, that's why I didn't have to buy any. But uh, this right here is crock potted chicken. All I did was throw it in a slow cooker or a crock pot, which I have down here, that bad boy, and added a smidge of water to it. Obviously I trimmed the chicken breast, I trimmed everything that was white on it, so the fat. So a very, very lean chicken breast, a few chicken breasts that I threw in there. A smidge of water and a fuck ton of Frank's Red Hot Wing Glaze. A lot of this. Zero calories per serving. Sodium's up there, but if you're working out and drinking plenty of water a gallon a day, you're going to flush that sodium and work that sodium out. Your body does need sodium to function and keep cramps away. So don't be scared of that. Don't listen to the idiots to say that you need to keep your sodium low. I mean, unless your blood pressure is high, that's the only reason you should be dodging sodium. Uh, we're going to put it on the scale now, so we need to zero that out. And for this, we're going to measure the meat or your protein in ounces. So we want to zero that out. Boom, doesn't even know the things there. I'm going to use my hands because I'm a beast. And I want four ounces of uh, chicken breast here. So we're at 3.2. Uh, smidge over, we're gonna take a little bit out. Just about that much out. Oh, need a little bit more. Let's see if we can hit right on the money. There it is, four ounces of chicken. I'm gonna microwave this now. All right, so on to the rice. This is jasmine white rice. I steam it, boil it in a uh, kettle thing right here. You don't have to buy a rice cooker. This cooks a bunch of white rice. Obviously you get a bigger pot, cooks even more. But uh, you know, rice cookers are convenient though, so whatever. I'm cheap, broke, so uh, I do with what I got. Anyways, this is a half cup, measuring cup, that I'm going to scoop a half cup of white rice out and right onto the plate with that. I haven't microwaved that actually yet. I wanted to microwave the white rice too because I left it and here from this morning where I cooked it, so it's a little chilly. Uh, and the vegetables are gonna go on next. 
So here we are. One half cup of white rice jasmine. Boom! A literal rice cake. Um, I'm going to stir that up and toss it in the microwave. So this right here, it was hard to measure it and film at the same time, so I'm just going to tell you about it. This was a cup, I mean, excuse me, a half cup of broccoli florets, frozen, it's under all those peppers, and then a half cup of the stir fry mix from Food Lion, onions, green, red, and yellow peppers, all frozen. I'm going to throw this in the microwave now for about three minutes, steams it, ready to go. The veggies are hot and ready, piping out of the microwave. I'm going to toss them into this mix, stir it back up one more time hit it in the microwave maybe another time usually when I'm eating on the road or at work I don't microwave my food I just leave it cold but since I'm at home for today it's today Saturday I take my time and heat things back up get them somewhat fresh but yeah we'll talk later in the video about uh, days on or days at work and like days on the weekend when you have more time to enjoy your meals that simple stir it up I'll show you next. All right, it is all pieced together. Stir it up. What I'm going to do now is add just a smidge. I'm going to sprinkle some pink Himalayan salt onto it, just because I like the flavor of the salt. And also, this isn't like your your basic bleached table salt. Um, this doesn't have any iodine, obviously, that you'd need throughout your day, but you can get that through other foods. Um, the difference between this is this actually has some minerals, some minerals and electrolytes that definitely help you hydrate and keep you full throughout the day. I'm going to add some mustard to this. I'm a mustard head, whether it's regular basic mustard like this or spicy brown mustard. The reason I haven't been doing a lot of spicy brown mustard lately, and I can show you, is because spicy brown actually does have some calories to it. It's not a lot, it's five calories, but when you're using it on every single meal, and I like to go heavy with my mustard, um, those calories add up. So this is zero calories per serving, low sodium, extra flavor. I'm gonna show you all how heavy I go. Um, but yeah, you can use all types of sauces. I'm gonna go over some sauces here at the end of the video. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hate me, do it. But I'm gonna go over some sauces that I, my go-to sauces that I use when I'm uh, trying to watch calories and still keep my food tasting good. But we'll go over that later. I swear, my AC cuts on every time I cut my camera on the film. And it's loud as shit in the kitchen. But uh, moving on to, I guess, meal number three, quote unquote. I don't know if you can consider this a meal. I do. I consider it my pre-workout meal. One bagel. This is uh, the Aldi's brand bagel. It's not the best calorie wise. It's 270 calories per bagel. And I think if you get like Kroger, I think Kroger's brand, it's like 240 or like even lower if you get the plain bagel. But I like a little flavor with mine. So I go with the cinnamon raisin and uh, obviously one serving or one bagel is 270 calories. Two grams of fat, keeping the fat low still, carbs high, 56 and eight grams of protein per this bad boy. So if you smash this, some amino acids, some BCAAs, shit, you rolling. So I'm uh, gonna smash one of these now, going to the gym in about 45 minutes. So I'm gonna smash one, take my pre-workout, and get it. All right, so I wasn't able to get out the door as quickly as I like to after eating that bagel. Uh, ended up getting caught in some computer work. But now it's been about 45 minutes since I've ate the bagel and I realize I still have under like 500 calories all in me to go train hamstrings lots of deadlifts big leg exercises so I need a little bit more fuel I'm going to throw in a banana pre-workout right there all or nothing locked and loaded let's go just got back workout done hamstrings glutes big deadlifts lots of curls and uh, can't, even, can't even talk I need to eat so post-workout just getting back in the door is going to be one more banana and now I'm going to do my cardio 45 minutes outside I'm going to walk brisk walk up and down hills around my apartment with this extra 25 pounds book bag on my back got it filled with books and 
rice and shit. So gonna go set a timer, go out there, get my sweat on, and then have post-workout meal. Back from the walk, cardio, post-workout cardio. Now I'm moving on to my second to last meal, which is going to be the meal that I had previous before workout. A half cup of jasmine white rice. I, I measured it all out. Didn't feel like I need to redo the exact same meal, but I'll tell you, it's a half cup white jasmine rice, a cup or half cup broccoli, half cup mixed peppers, and four ounces of chicken. The only thing I'm gonna do different is this hot sauce right here. It's from Aldi. Um, another pretty good one, zero calorie, load up. And then also, I'm gonna show you all the snack I'm gonna have with this meal to fit the calories. So along with this meal, I can also have 220 grams of red seedless grapes. And there's no way you can just pick grapes off and be like, oh, that's a gram. So you're gonna have to measure that, weigh it out. Put my tub on the scale. I'm gonna zero it out for grams. It's at zero. Now we're gonna load up some grapes, one grape at a time until we get to 20 gram, or 220 grams. Just gonna take a little bit doing it with one hand. You know what, I'm gonna set this down and I'll show you all once it's done. All right, finally. This right here is 220 grams of red seedless grapes that I will be having with this meal. Next meal coming up. So here's the last meal of the day, sweet potatoes. I'm not probably gonna be eating all these. I'm not sure yet. I need to weigh them out, but I'm not eating the skin. And since I'm not doing that, I need to peel them. They're already uh, steamed them in the microwave, but I'm going to peel them and then put the guts into here and measure them out. I need 300 grams of sweet potato. So I'm gonna zero that out, start peeling away and throw them in there. All right, so I ended up not using all the sweet potatoes. I used two and a half pretty much, skinned them. This one's still full. 300 grams of sweet potato, ready to go. And toss that one there. So with this particular meal, I've done it before in the past and I don't do it every single night for my last meal, but since it's the weekend, I have time to make it. I want something fresh and good. This is my go-to like treat um, and it still fits my calories. So that's 300 grams of sweet potato. Now I'm going to add in 15 grams of brown sugar, light brown sugar. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and weigh that out now. So I'm gonna put my tub on the scale, zero it out. And let me grab a spoon. Boom. Let's see how much that is. Seven, that's five. Okay. Here we go, we're getting up there now. Eleven. Too much. Thirteen. There's fifteen grams of brown sugar. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to smoosh that all around and flatten it out and then I'm going to drizzle or sprinkle this brown sugar over top of it. I'll show you in the next clip. Alright, so I spread them out, smashed the sweet potatoes up, drizzled the 15 grams of brown sugar over top. The last ingredient that's going in there, my fats for the day. Remember at the beginning of the day I said I saved my fats for the end of the day because I want to make sure I don't go over my calories too quick and fat is an easy way to make those calories bump up in the beginning of the day to where you end up having not much left to eat for the end of the day when you're hungry. So this is what I look forward to. I'm going to do two servings or four tablespoons of this natural Jif peanut butter. Uh, so it's two tablespoons, just 33 grams. I'm not going to weigh it right now. I'm going to use this tablespoon right here and I'm going to scoop it out and make sure it's level so it's not like a snow cone scoop on top. I'm going to put four of these into that and while it's still hot the peanut butter is just going to melt and I'm going to stir it up. I'll show you right now. All right there it is last meal 300 grams sweet potato 15 grams light brown sugar and four tablespoons of natural Jif peanut butter. I'm going to stir it all up and I'm going to use five of these caramel Quaker rice cakes five not the whole sleeve um and what i'm going to do is take a knife and scoop a couple of scoops of sweet potato and lather it on a rice cake and eat it like that for my last meal of the day 
hitting my macros and I'll post a video or I'll uh, go over a video next of my calories and macros for the day. And yeah. Okay. Well, uh, you got me on the line. Tell you what, why don't you let our guy Jaden there go. And uh... so those are my meals for the day. Uh, obviously this is the next day, but I wanted to recap on the meals for the day. I don't eat the same exact thing and I'm sure y'all don't either all day every day. Uh, I'd say I try and keep everything as consistent as possible. So uh, I try and, let's say I eat five meals a day, three out of those five meals are probably gonna be the same thing every single day. Because for me, consistency and simplicity is gonna be key to success with dieting and tracking what I'm eating. You know, if you start to, and it's possible, but if you start to, uh, you know, change up your meals every day and try and do something different, you just have to make sure you're taking the time to measure and weigh everything out so you know exactly what you're putting into your body, how many calories of what is going in. As far as sauces go, I would try and stick with these handful of sauces. I'm sure you can find more out there, but I'm pretty basic when it comes to them. So regular yellow mustard is going to be number one, usually zero calorie per serving. Spicy brown mustard. You might be able to find one that's zero calorie, but most of them are about five calories per serving, so you still need to watch out for those and be mindful about how much you're putting on there. Most buffalo or hot sauces are zero calories. My go-tos are Frank's Red Hot, their regular hot sauce or wing sauce, both are zero calorie. Second up would be Sweet Baby Ray's. There is five calories per serving of Sweet Baby Ray's buffalo sauce, I believe, in each of those, so you gotta be mindful about how much you're using. And uh, what are some other ones? Chilua is another good one. It's like another spicy Mexican hot sauce. One last thing to season up anything. If, if you're a big soy sauce type person, you're trying to dial down the sodium because most soy sauces are loaded with sodium. Check out, I think the brand name is called Bragg's and it's amino acids or liquid aminos is the name of the product, liquid aminos. And it's very, very low sodium, tastes just like soy sauce. You can load up a bunch of shit with it, tastes really good. And as they say, there's many ways to skin a cat, many different ways. And same thing with dieting. There's a lot of diets that are out there for trying to lean out and drop weight. The majority of them do work in my opinion, but, works, but what works best for you is what you can stick to. And for me, having a higher carb, lower fat, and moderate protein diet is what's key for me. Obviously, there's other things like keto, or where you just sort of have every macronutrient very, very low. Um, the higher carb, lower fat diet works best for me. And I usually stick to cutting out any type of saturated fat when I'm dieting. Um, so when I do eggs, I only do egg whites. And pretty much my only fat source all day, every day is like some type of nut butter or nut spread, um, particularly natural peanut butter because it's my go-to, it's craving, and I'm able to fit it in my uh, calories. So uh, make sure you choose what works best for you and what you can stick to personally. You know, it's not about, you know, what this or that person does. It's what you're able to stick to day in, day out because consistency is what brings success. That is a quick and simple uh, grocery haul and day of eating video. If you'd like to see anything else from me, hopefully I can get used to talking to the camera a little bit more and uh, breaking some of my personal things down. Try and give you all a little bit more value and some insight on how to do things and get the fitness journey started. But if you'd like to see more or if you have questions about anything, make sure you drop them in the comments below or shoot me a DM. I'm here to help.